A Mediterranean diet can help decrease your heart disease risk, um, decreases metabolic syndrome, diabetes, certain cancers like colon cancer, breast cancer, Prostate cancer has been known to be decreased with people who are following this diet. Also depression in older adults and uh, decreased frailty. Hi everyone, this is Bula Manusos with Nutrition Design with you in mind here for another Table Talk with Vula. And um, I decided to talk about a, a fun little topic today after I received this in the mail. Uh, EatingWell.com is one of my favorite magazines. Anybody who knows me knows that I absolutely adore this magazine, okay? It has a wealth of excellent nutrition information and excellent recipes that I use actually for my Monday newsletter and posts. So um, I really encourage people to pick this up or to go online. They have free recipes on EatingWell.com. But this was the inspiration. This um, this issue here with the beets, the beautifully colored beets, made me really want to discuss plant-based nutrition or, or plant-forward diet. And what does that mean? And how can that contribute to your overall health and well-being? And can you follow a plant-based diet and expect to be able to manage your weight? So these are the things that we are going to be exploring today. So let's just start off and dig deep into this topic. I think it's um, a really fun little topic and something that's been trending uh, recently and for the past couple of years. So what is a plant-based diet or plant-forward diet? It's predominantly vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. So vegetarian does not necessarily mean vegan, and we're going to be explaining the different definitions of, of uh, vegetarian diets, but it does not necessarily mean vegan, okay? So you can, uh, you know, add other sources of animal protein to your diet, but maybe not as much, okay? So a lot of research has been done around vegetarian diets and more recently around the Mediterranean diet. And as you all know, this research has shown that a Mediterranean diet has excellent, excellent health benefits for us. And does it exclude all, you know, animal-based protein? No, it does not. But it is predominantly and heavily based on grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, and olive oil at its core. There's more fish, less poultry, and very, very little meat. And the research here has shown that a Mediterranean diet can help decrease your heart disease risk, um, decreases metabolic syndrome, diabetes, Certain cancers like colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer has been known to be decreased with people who are following this diet. Also depression in older adults and uh, decreased frailty, again, in our senior citizens. So lots and lots of benefits with this Mediterranean um, diet. So let's look at the different types of uh, vegetarianism, if you wish, okay, or vegetarian diets, because people always often get confounded and they interchange one for the other and they are a little bit different. So a semi-vegetarian or a flexitarian diet is one that includes eggs, dairy, and occasional meat, poultry, and fish, but it is heavily based in grains, fruits, and vegetables. So if you are thinking, let's say, of the food pyramid from back in the 90s, because we, we, we don't really follow the food pyramid right now, but um, humor me for just one minute, the base of the pyramid is mostly fruits and vegetables. And one up would be your whole grains and over that, as the pyramid gets a little bit more narrower, as you get up to the top, you have your dairy, your oils, and then right at the tippy top, you've got your meat and animal-based protein, which means you really are, are including animal-based protein, but not as much as you are your fruits and vegetables and your grains, which are pretty much the base of this diet. Now, a pescatarian diet is a diet that includes eggs and dairy, but mostly fish and no meat products. And a vegetarian or lacto-ovo-vegetarian diet, which is usually interchangeable, people usually refer to uh, a lacto-ovo uh, vegetarian diet as vegetarian, includes eggs and dairy, hence the lacto-ovo, but there is no meat, poultry, or seafood. Now, a vegan diet is a diet that is exclusively plant-based. You are not going to find an iota of any kind of animal-based protein. No eggs, no cheese, no dairy, obviously no meat and no fish, okay? So, 
this, these kinds of diets, um, the ones that are more vegan and plant-based, if you really think about it, are heavier in carbohydrates. So you've got more of a carbohydrate-based diet, which is fine. And depending on what you're choosing, you're getting a lot more fiber in this diet because of the whole grains and the vegetables. And it provides a ton of vitamins and minerals and liquids, which actually all of these factors have been shown to improve immunity and gut health. So good stuff here with your plant-based diets. So eating more plants actually also promotes heart health, like I mentioned, with the Mediterranean diet. And what you're doing if you're eating more plants is you're decreasing the saturated fat in your diet. And saturated fat is found predominantly in meat or animal-based products. So that saturated fat is what is going to promote LDL production, which is your bad cholesterol. And if you have too much of that LDL cholesterol in your bloodstream, that can cause problems with uh, clogging of the arteries, heart disease, high blood pressure, uh, which can also lead to diabetes. And those are the things you kind of want to be avoiding. So you, we want to minimize the saturated fat in our diets. And if you're eating more plant forward, which doesn't mean you know, no, um, you know, meat-based products or animal products, but if you're eating more plant forward, you're by default decreasing the saturated fat in your diet. So all really, really good things. A question that I get though with vegetarian diets from a lot of my clients is, okay, I get it. It's really great for my health. Awesome. Love it. Good for my gut health, for my immunity, for my blood pressure. But can I really get a complete kind of nutrient profile eating a plant-based diet? Now, it depends. And the answer is yes, but it also depends on how you put together your plate on a plant-based diet, right? So some attention needs to be um, given to how you're building your plate. So where can you get your protein if you're not getting it from animal sources? You can certainly get it from legumes, nuts, and seeds. And um, whole grains also contain protein, not iron-rich protein, but they will contain plant-based proteins like amaranth and quinoa and barley and buckwheat will contain protein. Ezekiel bread also contains protein. So there are ways to get that protein into your diet. Now, with regards to calcium, if you're thinking, how do I get a little bit more calcium-rich protein and I don't want to have a lot of dairy in my diet, animal-based dairy, then you can absolutely do plant-based cheeses and milks. Now, what you want to be choosing if you're doing a plant-based milk, which, by the way, has less protein than the animal uh, variety of dairy, but you know you can find an almond milk or a soy milk or a rice milk that's fortified with calcium, absolutely. And with regards to cheese, you can find non-dairy cheeses that are calcium fortified as well. Now the thing with the non-dairy is that you need to be mindful, you need to read the label because with regards to the cheeses, even though it's not dairy based or animal based, it can have a lot of sodium in the cheese as well as saturated fat. So you really want to be looking for a plant-based cheese that is made more from nuts and seeds, walnuts, for example, versus starches and coconut oils. Coconut oils and tropical oils are typically higher in saturated fat. And remember, those saturated fats can increase that bad cholesterol, which isn't optimal for heart health. So you really want to be doing your research when you're looking at these plant-based dairy products, okay? because they can be high, like I said, in fat, calories, and sodium if you're not careful. So just because it's plant-based doesn't mean it's necessarily the healthiest either. So you have to be aware. 